mom and dad only had an eighth grade education, but there was never any discussion that I wasn't going to college. I mean, they, they led a hard life, and they wanted us to go to college. And when we told them we were going to get married, I mean, that was not a happy hour because I think they thought we would quit, but we didn't, and it was tough. Age wasn't any problem, but I think they thought that we'd drop out of school and, and never get that college education. But I roughnecked in the summer and saved what I made in the summer. Donna worked and we lived on what she made, so we, we had a thousand dollars when school started to live on. I contend that that's the hardest I ever worked in my life was when I was in college. Because to get the degree that I got, I could not work. You know, kids work and and I could have worked, but I wouldn't have made the grades that I made. And that's what I contend today, that, that you can't really work and hold down a second job and, and do college justice. It was important to us that, uh, that you have scholarships for little kids. And it's become more and more important mm -hmm. as time going on. Well, I think, I think too, when we come to those scholarship banquets, you see the kind of kids that you have. And I have yet to meet one that I think, what are you doing here? My philosophy is that that degree is to help you make a living. And if you can get a degree and come out of South Plains as a welder, as a diesel mechanic, you just need to learn something that will make you a living. I love that about South Plains College. I feel like it's been one of the, besides of raising our kids and they're turning out as good as they have, I think the next thing and really to pat myself on the back and pat him on the back would be the scholarships, don't you? Well, we've helped a lot of kids yeah. and we hope these things continue to, to help them. So. Uh, I chose computer science because when I was in high school I got really into programming and um, I just knew that that was like what I wanted to do, like I wanted to work with computers. I actually hope to work in like law enforcement, like with cybersecurity or computer forensics or something like that. I'd like to go somewhere in electrical fields, somewhere within wind turbine energy. I kind of like to be in the field, I'm hands-on more than office, I like to be outside and do stuff like that. Every little girl wants to be a vet and so I was like, ah, you know, it'll change probably. And it just hasn't. I think it would be really cool to go to vet school or to even, you know, get an animal science degree, but I really want to get a pre-vet degree. And this is my last year at SPC and I feel like I'm really prepared to go on to the next level at a university. I was diagnosed with cancer when I was 16 years old. And so I, I was stage four undifferentiated sarcoma and like my one wish in life was to have a dog. I wanted a dog so bad and so eventually my mom broke and she bought me a little chewy puppy, right? And that kind of became my therapy dog is I was tasked with, you know, making sure it had its food and its water and it was trained and everything and that gave me the purpose to live enough that I'm here today and now I want to share that with other people. So. I want to uh, do pet therapy and share that experience of, the, you know, that there's reasons to live. Here's one. With these scholarships, it's a weight lifted off mine and my parents' shoulders. Like, I know a lot of people that are struggling, like, to get through college, you know, like, they have jobs and stuff like that, and they're not really focusing on their school. So it's a great opportunity, you know, a lot of kids take real good advantage of of this opportunity they're given and you know I'm real grateful I got some scholarships and it helped me a lot through the way. It helps me a lot because I don't have to worry about like how to pay for college like I can just focus on my studies. Overall it's easier my parents because they don't have to pay as much. Uh, books are, I can actually pay for my books. I don't have to work as many hours so I can focus more time on my classes so I can put more hours in my day towards just studying and try to keep my grades up. I would say to a person that's thinking about a scholarship Putting a scholarship into SPC is that it's, I think that you will feel like you are giving back and I feel like you will feel repaid. You're changing a life 
you're, you're literally helping someone by their education and that's going to improve not only themselves but also society. Just making people smarter. It's a great, great thing to do. I mean, it seems like a small thing here for our community college, but it's at it least kind of the foundation for something bigger. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. West. I really want to extend my thanks to you and I want you to know how much I really appreciate you donating to SPC and me personally. It's helped me so much and my parents are so thankful and I'm so thankful. If I could say anything, I'd say thank you. Was, honestly, this is, college was never a, a solid choice for me back in high school and I honestly didn't think I, was, I would be able to afford it and actually go and go on this journey. And uh, honestly, if I wasn't able to pay for it, I probably would never went. I would probably wouldn't be here right now. And if it wasn't for you, uh, I, don't I don't know where I'd be right now. And so, so all I can only really say is thanks. Hundred and nineteen. You see that? Right down there? This makes me cry. You see? Don and I had considered giving money for medical research. And that's good. It, it, it'd be very good. But in a year it's gone. And the way we look at these scholarships. Long after Ray and Donna are gone and our kids are gone, That'll still as long be. as it's South Plains College, these, these scholarships still be going on. So, well, I had no idea what we're talking about. I had no that. idea. I, I had no idea it was that much. I, I would have said, if you'd asked me how many people we were helping, I would have said, well, there were about 22, so I'd probably say max 30. And it's 190. <sighs> and they don't have to be our kids. <laughs> We don't have to worry about them forever. <laughs> I love that. Well, if they go and graduate, they worry about yeah, themselves. They worry about, about themselves. <laughs>